Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Cold War. I am Kurt Mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mokulov, and right now, we've got a new president. It is December 3rd, 1976, in which Jimmy Carter now is president, even though he took office in 1977. But, you know what? Oh, well, we get 100 more political power, and we can begin by doing, of course, his focus, but regulate strip mining, community reinvestment acts. Let's do that one first. And now more political power, <clears throat> and we're about a month away from... The next year, in which Jimmy Carter, like I said, is supposed to be president, technically, historically. But regardless, whatever. We're still building up, of course, a whole bunch of office parks. We're building up a lot more infrastructure, municipal infrastructure. So that'll be good. More industrial park output, more construction speed. And, of course, always go with more and more office parks. Now, we have 3.89 trillion in GDP, which, as you see, we've slowed down a little bit. But some comments include, I uh, should unite Indonesia. Um, I kind of did. I guess I gave it to the wrong Netherlands. I guess I was supposed to give it to the Dutch East Indies, but... Oh well. It is what it is. I tried my best with that. And it, they have a lot of financial reserves compared to these guys. They're 0.56 GDP, 0 0.01, so... It is what it is. And so it says I should puppet Mongolia. Well, as fun as that might be, and they're led by Mr. Yum. Uh, I want to see if we can puppet these guys. Now, we have a smaller GDP currently. Eventually, it'll pop back up to be higher than theirs. Um, but... 38% is not bad. So these guys save our PP. Uh, Cambodia War, don't care, don't care. Um, actually, we got quite a few things we can do in terms of investment. Yes. Why not? We're at 5 trillion right now. And we just lost 170 billion. And now we're going to lose another 30, 30 billion, or 300 billion. And... Infantry primacy, which is actually probably not historical. We probably want to go more special forces, but whatever. The next one's four years ahead of time. Whatever. Uh, let's see what else. Can we do anything else here? Yes. Medvac helicopters, because we can. Followed up with the regulate strip mining. We love stripping here and strip mining. And keep on developing everything else. Yep. And community reinvestment, more construction speed for quite a few years. Uh, current budget is zero, huh? Number of developed states not being upgraded 52. See, it can be upgraded. Ohio, Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Sure, why not? But we also can do Mount Lemon Rare Earth Mine. With the advent of Mount Top Removal Mining, the near invisible rare earth contained within Mount Lemon can be finally be extracted. Nice. Well, actually, that's really good. Because we don't really have that much... Oh, no, that's gold. Or rare metals. I thought that was nuclear stuff. Darn it. Darn it. Magma New Mexico Expansion. The magma companies see notable success from exploratory mines in northern Arizona. They're requesting permits to expand into New Mexico. And then, Steel Tex Texas Steel Processing and Corpus Christi Companies. Founding and endowing, companies such as Texas Steel Processing and Corpus Christi would improve Texas's own native steel processing capabilities and further strengthen the iron mines, finances, and expansion. <clears throat> Californian Iron or Mountain Iron Mines. A large number of small, rich veins have been found across the mountains in California. We have, when we have the technology capable of accessing these regions, we can begin mining. Petrochemicals, endow Kansas NGCC fields. Kansas oil and natural gas production has been an incredible boon to the country. Their oil and natural gas fields are currently in serious need of NGCC infrastructure, so they can tap into new res reservoirs. Nice. Very awesome. And it's still 75-ish, or well, really 77, but dual-mode propulsion rockets? Why not? Sounds like fun. And electricity new renewable energy projects. Uh, we're not going to choose this one, just because it doesn't look like there's anything we can gain from this. So, it costs 205 industrial parks for 215 days and $60 million. It doesn't say we're going to change anything here, so let's not do that. Anything else here? M military stuff, Yemeni stuff, Russian Civil War, NATO membership, leave NATO, yeah. Sounds like a good idea. And now we're at 2.2 trillion. We've spent a lot of money to push for clean power. Humphrey Hawkins Full Employment Act? How about we deregulate this? Less stability, more infrastructure construction speed. Uh, and we'll do it anyways. Why not? Because we can. Less than 2 trillion now? 3.91 is not bad, but still not good enough, man. PISGT, not bad. And let's come down here and grab this one too. More piercing? Ah, we love the piercing. 47 states. Oh my goodness. We need, we're spending all the money we made now into making these things bigger and better. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's going to do that stuff too. And one and a half trillion. Not bad. Ohio, Massachusetts. Costs to modernize all. 11.79. Oh no, 11, 11.79.3 trillion. 11.79.3.7 trillion. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, we don't definitely don't have those funds, but hey, logistics helicopters because we can. Look at that. Great news. Yay. Why did we get stability from that? You know what? I'm not going to question it. Great news, guys. Great news. Even though we don't need any more stability right now anyways, but whatever. Still losing more money, though. <clears throat> Current budget, 1250 Well, I don't know about that. Alright, so maybe we should stop spending so much money now. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Oh, we can upgrade this day, too. Well, yeah, that's the state I live in. Why not? Keep upgrading, guys. Keep doing... Just get better. Because we want more office parks. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of office parks. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, we still have a pretty... Wow. We're building all the way up to here. Deregulate transportation. Push for clean power. Yeah, that'll be uh, probably a good thing to do. And now we're out of money. Gosh darn it. So, uh, but it's alright. We have really a really advanced education system. We got some heavy welfare spending. And we got some good news too. So now, we should have another one of these to do. Well, agent, oh boy. Agent captured. Oh no. Oh, we need Ron. Just wanted to see what things would like around here. That's all. Just kind of touring the countryside. Don't mind us. Yeah, we're touring the countryside. That's that's totally what we're doing. Their GDP always seems to go up. It never seems to go down at all. Ours seems to go up and down because of capitalism. I don't know. 1.24 trillion is not bad. You guys are at 1.41, which is not too bad. 0.36, and then UK. What are you at? 1.16. That's not bad. And Italy's at what? Is it, are they at a trillion? They should be at a trillion at least. Never mind. 0.57. Turkey is at 0.42. Iran is at 0.41, which is actually not bad for them. And Brazil is at 0.51 as well. Last time we did, well, you guys are 0.15. Last time we did get Ecuador under as well. So we got a, we have a good amount of South America, you know, not colonized, but under us. We have you guys as well. Obviously, obviously I'd like more. As some people don't like me to do that, but I find it fun. I find it a lot of fun. Just having lots and lots of puppets. We do have Japan under us. The Tenerife, Tenerife Airport Disaster. Oh, boy. Tragedy. That sucks, bro. Uh, you're under us, too. Um, not too much of a GDP yet. Increase, spending increase. Hey! Slightly better. Because we have Thailand as well. So, not bad. Push for clean power. Demand the Department of Energy. Probably be a good idea to do that. All right. Anything else? Economic decisions. We could take out bunches of loans, but I don't think we want to do that. 34 pe uh, people. States can be upgraded. Well, we'll do it slowly. Let's get a little more money first, and then we'll do that. Our geo stuff? Nope. We're actually pretty okay right now. Just keep building, keep building, keep building. Can we build more infrastructure? Oh my goodness, yes we can. Because we're going to run out of things to build eventually, so. But happy 77, everyone. It's only March, but you never know what's going to happen. I wonder if we, have the, we probably will have the Iran crisis. Which will launch after that, like, Ronald Reagan's campaign. To get to a card here, we did have the option of having Ronald Reagan run. I think versus Donald Rumsfeld, I think, if I remember correctly, maybe? And then for the Democratic side, there was obviously Jimmy Carter. But there's also George Wallace, I think Hubert Humphrey as well, maybe? I can't remember. Even though I just played this yesterday, so it is what it is. Cool. And we got how many more? Ooh, we got like three weeks left. Well, three and a half weeks left for that one. We are still doing a lot of stuff over here. Trying to rescue a guy in Iran, which actually now that sounds really weird. That, yeah. Huh. We had people captured in Iran, huh? You know, happens. Happens. I love your headpiece. Salam bin Hamad al Khalifa. 50% from the UK, not bad. Of course. Last time, Afghanistan was puppeted by these guys. Avoid public misdemeanors. Go to jail. But not really. Where's that one? I don't know the street at all. At the time of this recording, at least. Um, oh, we got the operative. Nice. The Department of Energy established. The federal government recently approved the establishment of the Department of Energy. This will be a cabinet position and seeks to consolidate the various energy programs across the federal government with their defense responsibilities related to the nuclear program. For years, energy policy, especially research, has been hampered by a lack of focus due to the different programs and agencies involved. Even more significantly, 
Their nuclear program has also been uncoordinated, especially in terms of design, production, and research. With the Department of Energy, all these programs and policies will be coordinated. And the government expects a great improvement in how effectively the U.S. will be able to develop new energy techniques and implement them across the country. Great news. Great news. Finland needs more of its territory back, but that's just my... That's probably just me. Yeah, you should probably get that area back, but whatever. So, avoid public misdemeanors. Where's that? Ah, <clears throat> oh, it's right here. Alright, so follow KGB's lead to tackle opposition. Spiral into political stiffening. Call for national discipline. Maintain stance towards Russian nationalism. Elevate Brezhnev as Marshal of the Soviet Union. Conceal the flaws of the party. Continue a reliance on rich nomenclature. Or nomenclatura. Draft a new constitution. Huh. Alright, well, good luck with that, guys. You're honestly probably going to need that, but whatever. Oh, I forgot. I keep doing that. Air doctrine. Ah, rocketry. 75. Fusion reactor theory. Makes progress towards a fusion reactor project. Nice. And, uh, oh, oh, uh, what? Oh, wow. That's a lot of days. 900 days, that's a lot. Holy crap. So, really, it's a combination of all these, but Office Box, really, we have 263. Civilian factors are 249. Uh, mining stuff. Yeah, this one gives us by far the most, probably, so. Greatly contributes to the GDP. <clears throat> contributes, 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 and contributes. All right, well, it's good to see that, I guess. But for money-wise, we're still spending most on just. I mean, you'd say I don't know. Some people probably would put education with public spending, depending on how you categorize or define public spending. So, domestic spending, police, insurgency, resource. So, yeah. Not bad. Most of it comes from most of our income comes from services, but Humphrey Hawkins Full Employment Act. We lose political power. Give more construction speed. I don't know if I can do that one. So let's wait for that one. I don't. We'll do that one eventually. But Ethics and Government Act. Well, we'll see about that. Ethics. Do we need ethics? We can only get. Sometimes we get four. Sometimes we get three. It just, it, I guess it depends on the economy, but still. There you go. Do it one more time. Are we in the red yet? We should be close. Yep, we're at 150 billion. Not bad. We're not in the red yet, but we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Cool. I just keep going back to the page because I want a bigger GDP so we can influence these, these guys even more. Imperial State. Not bad. Until everything falls apart for them, of course. Oh, yeah, we also got Saudi Arabia under us as a puppet, too. So now they're not Saudi Arabia, they're an Arabian Republic. Mobile is the Arab, Arab League. Birthplace of Islam, Desert Nomads, Increased Encryption, American Advisors, you bet we're there. Egyptian Advisors, too. American Air Divisions or Advisors. Wow. Oh, they're starving. Negative balance. Rentier Industrial Society. Industrial Buildup. Financial Sector, not bad for them. Not bad, pretty good stuff. I don't want to lose any more political power, though, man. I like the construction speed. Well, we're going to need that. Ah, I'll do it anyway, screw it. Ah. So after ethics, what are we going to do? A lot of stuff we're blocked out from doing so far, which kind of sucks, but... You know, we already did all this stuff, too, under Nixon. So we might as well do an emergency natural gas. Job trading partisanship, partisanship? Partnership. Let's do Job Trading Partnership Act next. That's probably a good one to do. <clears throat> Very good. This coffee I have is pretty good, too. Very nice. All right, so we got technology here. So all these are done. We gotta wait for this one. Oh wait, this one do? Yeah, might as well. Logistics for light compact containers. Very smart idea. And we can get some logistics helicopters because we can. And two weeks left for the M72 law. What's the GDP of Greece? 0.25. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Switzerland is 0.18. Austria is 0 0.08. 0.41. Corsair our puppet. Ah, uh, poor those guys. And we have Croatia here. And they're just kind of hanging out. Targeted destruction. So we did all this. All this. Counterinsurgency is almost in as well. Which does limit how much PP we do get. So, And our GDP just barely went up now. Ah, oh, terrible. Oh, wait. So it, t it tells you. Start of financial years on the 20th of May. Huh. Interesting. Political stiffening. Love it. 
So, these guys have 0.61. I was wondering, like in TNO with Japan, they have a bunch of corruption and they just basically inflate their GDP numbers or, you know, whatever modifier they use to make it look like they're constantly successful. Do they do that too here in the, the USSR or is this real GDP? That's my question, so. I don't know, that'd be interesting to discover, I suppose. Dual mode propulsion rockets? Nice. So we're doing the rocketry for now. Is there any weapons of mass destruction we can use? Fast breeder reactors. Now you really got my interest. But anyways, let's get some hawks. We love missiles here. Lots and lots of missiles. But man, look how laggy the game is. Like, I have a pretty good processor. I forget exactly what it is. But like, it's a pretty beefy processor. But then again, Hoi 4 doesn't run on multiple cores, usually. Uh, Energy Security Act. Why not? 70 days left for this. Economic investments. I kind of doubt we have any more resource gathering stuff for now, which is fine. Whatever. Uh, just keep building. Can we invest any more yet? We can invest in Mexico, but I don't want to invest in Mexico yet. Down here, no. Oh, actually, yeah. Yeah, might as well. Not for, It's not much, but hey, we'll take it. <laughs> Phoenix Island's building up even more uh, municipal infrastructure, so... So when we need to build things here, we can build them really fast. But happy July 1st, everybody. Happy July 1st. But yeah, it's pretty darn laggy. I might just delete like a lot of enemies, or not enemies, but like people's nations, divisions. Just to see if it'll speed things up. At least we're 4 trillion again. 4.004 trillion. Well, these guys are probably 4.1. Oh, that's close. Oh, look, a state repression. You know what? I've actually not looked. At their national spirits yet. Alcoholism, nice. Fight crime, of course. Reduce bureaucracy. Gosnab. Honestly, that does not look, not look great. You get more political power and stability, but still. Home of the revolution and victories of the great patriotic war. Alright. Young pioneers, of course. Full employment priority. Agricultural syndicalization rising. Labor shortages issue. Wait, full employment initiative, but then labor shortages. Wow, that's really bad. The New York blackout. No lights, no foods, but lots of liquor. Two day long New Island, not New Island. New York City blackout switching from July 13th to the 14th. Interesting. What is this world coming to? A whole lot of fun. So, ethics and government. Oh, good job training partnerships. Why not? Followed up with. Nuclear waste policy, and emergency natural gas. And soon ish, in about two months, we'll have the medicine. Nice. And you guys, we should have that in about two months as well. So, just gonna get, sp spend some time. I do like looking at that th other people's focus trees, though. Because it gives me an idea what. Wait, you. Huh? This did not complete, but you went down with the failure of the coup. Okay. By looking at other nations' focus trees, I can figure out which nation I want to do next, or like relatively soon-ish at the time of this recording. So, motion of sensor fails. Pass. De Gaulle and UNR. Oh, interesting. Let's see. India. I don't think I've ever played India in any of my campaigns before. Then again, they don't have a unique focus tree right now. It's more like a generico one. John, what are they up to? Hybridization, Hua Guofeng. Ah, yeah, they have a generic focus tree now, too. Mongolia, I'm sure it's a unique, or a uh, generic focus tree. Isn't, what is this, Bangladesh? Why isn't Bangladesh not popped out yet? Hey, slightly better, slightly better, but why isn't Bangladesh not here yet? What the heck? Aren't they supposed to be here? 31's not bad. We have 79 billion now in the reserves, which is better than America in real life, but whatever. Resource-wise, still nothing there. Foreign report on foreign influence and stuff like that. Nah, nothing. Okay. Zoom in so we can hopefully speed the game up just a little bit more. Because we've got two days left. Not bad. Th bottom month left for that. And it's after natural gas. We should probably go ahead and do... Service Transportation Assistance. Abolish a Joint Committee on Nuclear... On Nuclear on Atomic Energy. Nuclear Waste Policy Act. Why not? Oh, Jimmy Carter. Alright, wow. Current sense part is really high. It's a lot more purple, a lot of red. It's weird to see California red, but... Let's see, 39 Dems, 61 Republicans. So, the Republicans have 
an absolute majority in both well yeah both uh, halls of Congress it's weird seeing America this divided especially compared to 2021 but like it's how are you still speaker of the house weren't you here the entire time you got a weird face I said that before but he still has a weird face I'm not gonna lie he's got a really weird face Czechoslovak Republic well, how Republican are you who suck Hardliner Eminence Grice. They have a oh, that's a lot. How do we how do we see how much infamy we have? Because like, they have a hundred. These guys have a hundred. I bet we have a hundred. Yeah, everyone does everyone have a hundred? Yeah, probably everyone has a hundred. And East Germany's almost at a trillion, that's actually pretty good. But is that a real trillion? Or is that like a you know, like I said earlier, like fake trillion? What's the UK up to? Exception mobs? Oh, it's another just generic focus tree. Okay. Not bad. Launch the Atari 2600. Nice. Launching $200 in the North American market with two joysticks and a copy of the combat video game with eight other games available for purchase as of right now. In advance for consumer technology. Video games? What? Video games? Back in my day, all we had was an Atari. Surface Transportation Assistance Act because we can. Nice. Keep building them up. Good news. We lost political power. Oh, more daily gain. Oh, yes, please. We'll probably use that one immediately, so. Power plant nuclear construction speed. Yeah. Cool. Senators love everything we do. Well, for the most part. For the most part. Anything else here? Anything else here? Anything else? Oh, hello. Uh, we did miss one. Delaware is such a weird state. Like, does anyone ever remember Delaware? Maybe except if you're like Joe Biden, maybe. But like, honestly, Delaware? At least for me personally, I remember Maryland better than Delaware. Nothing against Delaware, but it's just, I don't remember Delaware ever. Are they still up 4.11? We're catching up though. It's not bad. Yeah, I never remember that state. Might as well do that one too. And logistics helicopters too. So then we're done with this page, it looks like. Um, come over here. Advanced mountain warfare equipment and tactics as well. And then we'll have some hawks, and then we can get the next level of hawks after that too. Which would be good. I just want bigger GDP, man. Actually, oh, she's tabs in more right now. There's no resolutions. Condemnation of Spanish human rights violations. That's the only thing UN has done. Weapons of mass destructions, which I'm. Um, oh, we have, we have nuclear, seven nuclear reactors. I didn't realize that. Huh. I thought the Brits had nuclear. Like a nuclear bomb as well, but okay. Why not? Ah, very good. And campaign for consumers' protections? Yeah, we could do that. That seems like a pretty good idea. <coughs> cool. So, after that one, we'll probably do under regulatory flexibility act. I think that'd be a good idea. Pretty, pretty decent. All right, 200 billion in reserves. How's Israel doing? They're doing quite well, putting down resistance. Yeah, we, did, we do have these guys as a pub as well. And Lebanon exists too. They're a bunch of centrists, huh? And the Turks probably feel pretty good about getting northern Syria too. And of course we took, uh, hello. Uh, the Suez Canal, just in case. Which is almost done upgrading, actually. Huh. Almost a thousand PV, not bad. And of course, we have the Coptic Nation. Egypt no longer exists. It's all about this guy from Wakanda, Lieutenant of Industry, for the people. For the people. Bulgaria is looking okay, even though they're a bunch of monarchists with a lot of state repression and BCP strength. Not bad. Just want to influence them more, man. Not even a trillion yet. Oh, they got high inflation. That sucks. That really sucks for them. Cool. Eight days left. Red eye, too, huh? More air attack is pretty good to get. Let's see. So we have about four days left. This one has about seven days left, so... Yeah, regulatory... The Circula Act. Regulatory Flexibility Act. Not bad. Not bad. So my goal for this episode is to try to get all the way to... 
80. Might happen, it might not happen. We'll see what happens, but we're trying to push, 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 push. Okay, so we're at I2. So we'll be done with all that. So then we come over here and do initiative. Uh, yeah, might as well. Doesn't really matter too much right now. But I'm, I'm off for Jet Stimovic Tactics. Hey, hey, legislation passed. Ethics and government. C fuel capacity. This one we could use immediately. For Surface Transportation Assistance Act. That's a good thing to do. Yeah. Just give us our GDP. Don't drop it, please. Please don't drop it. What are the Kurds up to? They're just kind of hanging out. 0 0.03. They're really not trying to advance, are they? India, Tibet still exists for some reason. The Republic of China has more influence over Tibet than the People's Republic of China. God dang it. It only went up by 0 0.02. Man, that sucks. I want more, man. I want more. Actually, are you out of manpower? No, you must be out of equipment. Look at all those PRC guys. Oh. So much pee-pee. I don't want to spend it yet either. Oh, also Portugal did win down here, so. Yeah. We could spend it to pop up somebody, but I want to save for the Union. Oklahoma, here. Upgrade yourself. How's Indiana doing? 50%. Um, we need so much money. 8%. Minority ethnicity, Afro-American. It's pretty divided between Protestants and Catholics. There's more Catholics than Protestants here in New York, huh? And there's a lot of Jews here, too. How about Massachusetts? Demographics? A lot of Catholics. Versus some uh, Protestants. A lot of Protestants. A lot of Catholics. Some Jews. In Rhode Island, do they even have people there? Mostly Catholic. Mostly Catholic? Whoa, my goodness. Circla. What about up here in New Hampshire? Protestant, Catholic, a few Jews, and then Maine. I guess has a population as well. What about here? Demographics. Mostly Protestant with a good chunk of Catholicism and... Interesting. I'm not sure what you can really do with a demographics page. But oh well. 64% California. What's California like? 47%, 31%, huh? Orthodox. Oh, they got Orthodox there too. I wish you could just keep this tab open. Huh. Alright. And I guess we'll do this one in the center. Might as well. What about Texas? Seven, oh, that's so much money. 63 Protestant, Louisiana. Of course, it gives you religious Democrat demographics, but not like ethnic demographics. Florida? North Carolina? Mm, any other state? How about Alaska? No one ever thinks about the religious demographics of Alaska. That seems such a, like such a niche thing to think about. Traditional American. Huh. How about Hawaii? 42%. Oh, that's, that's more than I thought. My... Mahayana Buddhism. And a few Jews there, too. Alright. Let's upgrade Hawaii. Thank you. Alright, we got Circle Up. And then we'll do abolish a joint committee on nuclear. On, uh... Joint committee of nuclear stuff on atomic energy. Huh. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It's about a week left for that. <clears throat> I want more GDP, man. We're catching up. I love Brezhnev as Marshal of the Soviet Union. There's no biography. Oh, that sucks. I wish he had a biography so we could read about him. Well, that's alright. Things happen. So after this one, we'll probably do Launch Commercial... Or, Commercial Space Launch Act. Yeah. That'd be good to do. Oh, we got five days left. Legislation passed. Very good. Nuclear waste. More political power, less construction speed. Well, the other one gave us less... Political power for more construction speed, so. What do we get? This is more PP. 2.96, not bad. Burma? How's Burma doing? He win, man. Did you know he win? I really wish the Vietnam War actually did fire like it's supposed to. And we still have. Pull pop here, okay then, yeah. Really patriotic schools, I bet. Counterterrorism force? If you wear glasses, you can get killed by him. Cambodia. Democratic Republic of Vietnam. Philippines, of course. We do have you guys. Well, we don't have you guys under us. A KMT. When did Chiang Kai-shek actually die? It's 78, man. Should you already be in the ground, maybe? I don't know. And then Australia. Robert Menzies. Huh. A liberal conservative. 0.29. We have a lot of influence over them. Not enough, obviously, but still. 
up oh, MS-22. So we got about two and a half, three and a half weeks for substation improvements. It's fine with us. <gasps> oh, 4.14. Oh, 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 oh. Is that higher than theirs, or is it about the same? Oh, they're 4.3. Oh. Wait, can you still... The abolishment of the Joint Committee on Atomic Energy. The U.S. Congress Joint Committee on Atomic Energy is officially abolished. At its peak, the committee held jurisdiction over all bills and regulations related to the uh, military and civilian aspects of nuclear power. It also enjoyed a unique legislative veto that allowed it a voice in executive decision-making um, over nuclear policy. Indeed, it was considered to be one of the most powerful congressional committees in American history, however, over the years. Its jurisdiction oversight has been greatly reduced due to other Senate congressional committees taking on the oversight of civilian nuclear energy. In addition, the Environmental Protection Agency and the establishment of the Nuclear Registry Commission also made the committee increasingly redundant. With these factors in mind, the committee was formally abolished today in what may be seen as a victory for the executive branch and its efforts to consolidate nuclear policy in the executive branch. Interesting. And it's time to go save one of our guys. And Iran once again. So I guess we had we didn't we didn't need to wait to uh, get a higher GDP. We had but to start influencing a nation, you have to have higher GDP. So interesting. Very interesting. Hey, man, if we can make them our friend and literally puppet them and break the game, I think that'd be great. Just to see how hard we can break it. So we got about a week left for that. Not bad. And construction-wise, we've gone back to making all just, just so many office parks. Look at that PP drop. We had like 1,200, and now we're like 368. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there. I swear to God, we're going to get there. Are we, we're getting closer to 80. Jumping from 38% to basically 78%? Not bad. That's my end goal for this campaign. Can we puppet the USSR as America? And break the game. Nice, we got it to 80%. That's awesome. Substation improvements? Awesome. 75%. That's pretty much it, I think. Oh, no, we're no longer influencing that, so that sucks. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for this part for 75. Uh, artillery, maybe? 75, yes. Comprehensive Crime Control Act. So we ended up, what, 81%? 82%, not bad. The Soviet Union only has 1% influence on the Soviet Union. While America has 82% influence. Ah, I love it. It just works. It just works, my friends. Anyone else need to upgrade themselves? Go ahead if you need to, but... Eisenhower, I don't know how he's still... What, what year did Eisenhower die? He was president. He was, you know, World War II guy. Even World War One, maybe. I don't remember. It's 78. He should be in, like, a retirement home by now, but I don't know. Hey, it says office sparks. Let's get them. More office sparks. Always more office sparks. Nepal. This guy seems kind of smug. Trib Hovan Bir Bikram Shah. I know I'm butchering his name, but still. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Air doctrine. Why not? Mountain warfare tactics and such. Why not? Well, at least we're being somewhat successful here. It's just the GDP. It's so hard to get higher, higher, higher. What's Canada up to? Diefenbacher. Um, I think he's been here for a while, hasn't he? They're a puppet of the UK. Spanish Central Economic and Mathematical Institute. Not bad. Hmm. Just looking at our GDP as well. Continued reliance on entrenched nomenclatura. And Stag's Railroad Act. Because we can. Yay! Our operative hopefully is not going to be tortured over there. Hopefully. But come back to Iran because we love you here. Um, good luck. You're probably also going to need it. Volgograd, huh? And we've lost all more political power. 84% is not bad, though. Not bad. Of course, once we run out of focuses to do, we'll get a lot more political power anyways. So it should speed us up to the point where we can just eat them up. Just eat them, eat them, eat them, eat them, eat them. And of course, our next election is in November 1980. So overall, not bad. <sighs> not bad. And our GDP just barely went. Just casually spend a quarter of a trillion dollars. 
Trying to improve every single state here. Oh. Wyoming. Cool. Missouri. What Illinois? Primary ethnicity is Midwesterner. Midwesterner, huh? Afro Americans, uh, minority ethnicity. All right, tourism level zero. Oh, do we have tourism here? Does having New York? We should I get some tourism too? Oh, the UN is here as well. Yankee. There's so many. Yeah, Catholics and religious. But tourism level that doesn't seem right. Of course, maybe that's not in the game yet. Maybe eventually tourism will be a much bigger thing. So we'll see. We'll definitely see someday. Because you can just look at the demographics here too. It's mostly Orthodox. Oh, Stags Railroad Act, nice. And we'll just finish this one part up with the Bay Dole Act. Huh. And graphics mostly Catholic. Up here, it should be mostly Protestant. Uh, Unconventional Warfare Operational Design, nice. Oh, crap, we need to spend more for... We don't have to spend more for subsidies. Honestly, we don't really need to. Um, but, does we get office parks? Why do I keep clicking on this thing? Industrial parks, but not office parks. We don't need this one anymore. Tax breaks proposals... Uh, I'll spend 25 more. That's fine. But yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of parks. Yeah, people are... We're definitely struggling for trying to get higher GDP now. Definitely, 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 definitely struggling. Oops, my finger slipped. Oh. Now we're 85%. Nice. Oh, just actually passed. Oh. Um, nuclear waste. Regulatory flexibility. It's not bad. Railroad. Oh! You get more deal political power. It's not much. So, actually, if we don't do our upgrade, we get so much political power if we're not doing any sort of uh, agency stuff. Four a day, and we're still doing a focus. That's insane. State infrastructure construction speed goes up, which is nice as well. Let's get this one first, and then we'll upgrade our agency some more. Just keep boosting it up, babies. Boost, 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 boost. Zoom in so it's slightly faster. Look at the soldier here. Looks like he's got about an M16, maybe? Yeah, probably. There we go. Now upgrade. Because we're running out of upgrades here too. So we have like these three ish. Oh. I love how they're both perfectly in sync. They both. <clears throat> they must be twins or something. Both exactly doing everything perfectly together. So we're 4.24. Are the Soviets at 2.42? 3.4. Two? Conceal flaws of the party? Yay. So now we've completed all of that. Now, someone's going to appear here, because the Iran crisis should explode soonish, because there's a, quite a bit of time, uh, if I remember correctly, between uh, the hot, I think the hostage situation in Iran, and then the next election, which we're pretty much almost halfway to the next election already, so we should be getting something here relatively soon that could spark, uh, as some might would call, issues that arise. Actually, we're still at 85%, right? Yeah, we got there. That's not bad, so. Um, yeah, I think from right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play this a little bit more off screen to see what happens because we're done with our focuses until the next major issue arises. Prior to form a coalition government, the situation in Iran has reached a critical place. The Shah has informed the ambassador that he does not know what can be done and his position looks untenable. The lack of decisiveness is clearly a major cause of the crisis and exacerbates anti American sentiments among the Iranians. Some senior uh, officials argue that if the Shah cannot survive, we must try to make a positive impression on the next regime. These officials propose we arrange a plan that would see the Shah abdicate and hand power to a Republican government led by pro Western officials and military officers. Others in the administration state the Iranian revolutionaries are already vehemently anti American. Any further involvement will only act as an ammo for our enemies in the region. The Shah will likely agree to what we have proposed, but the president must decide whether to propose a plan to the opposition or hold off. We must attempt to salvage the situation. So right now, it's February 22nd, 1979. Um, our GDP growth has skyrocketed. 31 flipping percent. So we're 5.4 trillion. And now we have like 91% influence over these guys. We have far surpassed right now, at least for now, the USSR. Even though, I'm not sure we really, we really had a, uh, a uh, what do we call it? recession at all with the oil crisis and stuff like that but as i said before this mod is still in development so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens definitely so i uh, hope you guys have a pretty good day so uh, i mean just i've been sitting here just kind of pushing on ahead trying to make ourselves even better 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 even though we never have any enough uh, nuclear material but screw it so out of africa will go with that nuclear material that we need so desperately or not desperately so uh yeah we will influence these guys and probably put them as soon as we're done with jimmy carter so next election is in 80 so we got a little bit of time still left here so not too bad, but yeah. Um, anywhere else we can influence yet? 
And we need to keep 500 PP here. 4% is not very good. 28% is not good enough. Probably more of South America, honestly. 91% is pretty good. 23% uh, is not good enough. 64%. Uh, 91. 75 is not bad. 75. 83. 85. 83, 85. Honestly, Guatemala, you're next. Let's influence them. We'll get more enough political part because right now we're getting literally four a day. I think that's pretty darn good. So I don't know when. Actually, where's Cuba at? 6-6. Six, six. Three Mile Island knows from a nightmare. At 20, 2300 hours, uh, March 12th, 1979, the worst accident in the history of the U.S. nuclear power industry began when a pressure valve in the Unit 2 reactor with Three Mile Island failed to close. <clears throat> Cooling water. Uh, contaminated with radiation drained from the open valve into adjoining buildings and the core began to dangerously overheat. After the cooling water began to drain out of the broken pressure valve, emergency cooling pumps automatically went into operation. However, human operators in the control room misread confusing and contradictory readings and shut off the emergency water system. The reactor was also shut down, but resi residual heat from the fission process was still being released. Shortly after 8 a.m., word of the accident leaked to the outside world. The plant's parent company, Metro Metropolitan Edison, downplayed the crisis and claimed that no radiation has been detected off power plant grounds. But the same day, inspectors detected slightly increased levels of radiation nearby as a result of contaminated water leak. Pennsylvania Governor Dick Dur Thornburg considered calling evacuation. Finally, at about 8 p.m., plant operators realized they needed to get water moving through the core again and restart the pumps. The temperature began to drop and pressure in the reactor was reduced. The reactor had come within less than an hour of a complete meltdown. More than half the core was destroyed or molten. Two days later, however, a bubble of highly flammable hydrogen gas was discovered within the reactor building. After the radiation leak was discovered, residents were advised to stay indoors. Experts were uncertain if the hydrogen bubble would create further meltdown or possibly a giant explosion, and as a precaution, Governor Thornburg advised pregnant women and preschool aged children to leave the area within a five-mile radius of the Three Mile Island facility until further notice. This led to the panic the governor had hoped to avoid. Within days, more than 100,000 people had fled surrounding towns. Slowly, the hydrogen was bled from the system as the reactor cooled, and a few days later, the whole ordeal was over. A two-party, a two-pound turkey, and a 50-pound cranberry. That's Thanksgiving dinner at Three Mile Island. Nice. All vehicles stop. More, maybe nuclear energy isn't as safe as they claim. Yes, but this is still the 70s. Almost 80s. But still. Oh, GP went up. Uh, notes from a nightmare. At March 14th, 1979, the worst accident in the history of the U.S. Uh, began. Um, I think I read this one as well. It's pretty much the exact same thing. Yeah. Exact same thing. So we got it twice. Actually. I don't understand why, but whatever. I do want to keep our political power here just in case we want to puppet these guys immediately. But look at that. Oh my gosh, 208 billion. Jesus Christ. Services income. I love it. Oh my God, that's so good. Only 16 left. I mean, we're going to spend a bunch of money here, but... You know what? It's for America. And as long as we have no debt either, so. GDP, like I said earlier, so good. Right now, this is so good. I'm, I'm tempted to just, just delete my entire army. Which, honestly, we're not spending that much. We're spending $69 billion. Nice. But, like... Education costs so much, and public spending costs so much, man. If only we could spend less on public education. But yeah, we're just barreling through a bunch more office parks right now. Every single area that we had is pretty much stacked for it all. So, yeah. Five, five. Oh, hello. The flight of the shot. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. The end of an era. No from a nightmare. Wait, does this keep firing? Why does this keep firing? All right. I understand why it keeps firing, but whatever. Hopefully we can do a focus here soon with Iran. But, uh, hey. Oh, look! Shapur Bakhiliar. There used to be Pahlavi here, but now... Oh, boy. The return of Komenani. Oh, oh, oh. Interesting. Um, is he... No, he's not back yet. Yeah, no, that's, that's interesting. Hebz e Iran. The million manpower. Only 18 divisions, though, which makes sense, but still. Um, ground saturation would be nice to do. Uh, let's go with some, too. Interception detect detection. 5 dead lust for M107 stock propelled guns. Very, very nice. And then we're going to grab some more stuff here for more defense. Breakthrough. Soft attack. And, of course, we like heart attack as well. Which is more stuff we can do with the space race, though. Currently, we get 4.22 political power every single day, which is pretty nice. Of course, it does help if you're not doing any uh, focuses, but still. Still. Nice. And we probably have updated stuff. Yes. Good. Good, 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 good. And research will be done within two, in two weeks. Resignation of Bakhtiar. Oh, here we go. So we have the Imperial State of Iran. We'll see what happens soon. And we're almost done. We have, like, this left. And there's maybe, like, one or two more slots. 
left, and now we're done with all the congressional stuff. So, okay, no faction. The Supreme Military Council. Um, now what? I guess I shouldn't have paid off people's debt. Five and a half trillion. These guys are at 4.64 trillion. Abandon the cohesion dream. Oh man, it does not look like the USSR is having a very good time now, is it? Uh, let's see, where is that? Abandon the dream. Look at this. Follow Kossigen's lead. Use competition between firms to stimulate innovation or maintain heavy industry dominance. Oh. Alright. Where is that one that you just clicked on? Or that they're doing right now? Abandon cohesion. Oh, it's down here. Continue limited Russification. Appoint Russian SSR premiers. Tolerate corruption to promote civility. Intensify Slavic nationalism. Ooh. Deport Central Asians through, uh, through the Urals. Incite Russian cross Ural migration. Abolish tribal functioning. Oh, look at that. Use national pride to combat alcoholism. Why are you so drunk, USSR? Agent killed. Oh, Joseph Gordon, no! Um, Recon plans, we don't really use those. I like that close air support, though. That's pretty nice. But over here, we have what? Interception. Ah, I get that one. That sounds like more fun. Um, so we can cl probably close out of that one for now. Investments. 15 billion. Cost of minus 7.8 trillion dollars. That's a lot. Not gonna lie. We could upgrade Ohio. We need to. Oh, primary ethnicity is Texan. Minority ethnicity is Latino American, as well as Afro American, as well as Dixie. Huh. This costs 700 billion dollars. 750 billion. So we don't really have the numbers for that yet. I'm waiting for Iran to fall apart. I want focuses to do for Iran. That's why I started re recording again. Come on, let me do Iran. Let me do it. GDP is still pretty high. Actually, in the fiscal year begins on the 28th of May, so... I guess very soon we'll see, like, the effects of this, so... Yeah. We'll see what happens. Anything else here? How is the DDR doing? Nothing. Oh, you guys must be doing the focuses, yeah. We're pretty much near the end of the campaign here, so... Because everyone's doing their focuses except for the Russians, so... Or should you say USSR, I suppose, really. Yeah, come on, Iran, do something. Do something. As the Kurds are just like, hey, we actually have our own country. Oh, you have debt? <clears throat> as much as I want to pay that off of them. I think it was a wow, look at that, nice. Uh, did GDP change here? It's still 31%. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let's go to Texas. I can't imagine living in Texas again. It's so hot down there. Nice. So if we don't do that, we get 5.26. So as you see... We're almost done here. We're almost done with this one, too. Why does it cost so much PP to do, though? I don't understand. Um, we should soon-ish be able to get something regarding the Iranian crisis, please. I don't remember when it actually happened. My bad. But still. Congress. Open Architecture OS. I am researching things ahead of time right now, so... Digital Optical Data Storage. Dodds. Dodds. We all love Dodds here. The M3 Bradley. M113A2. We have, yes, we do. Light Tank 4. Yes, Light Tank 5. But happy June 1st, everybody. Happy, happy, happy June 1st, Renos. Anything else here that we have? Anything outdated? No? All right. Oh, what's this? Death Cruiser 10 Fleet Grounded Causing Air Mayhem at Airports. Oh, crash of American Airlines DC-10 at O'Hare. All U.S.-based DC-10s, which number up to 138. Oh, my goodness. That's not be good for the economy. Oh, crap. That's not good. We still have uh, colored seating in rear. How do we still have that? We have passable rights. Fight crime. Nuclear waste policy idea, of course. Regulatory flexibility act idea. We passed pretty much everything. The Bob Dole. Uh, Bay Dole, not Bob Dole, but Bay Dole. Uh, regulatory, yeah. Stag's Railroad idea. So, I'm not sure how we still have all this stuff, but okay, whatever. Uh, since it's about half, less than half a year, go and get better supercomputers. Might as well at this point. And economic investments. Actually, yeah, do that one. Do we have anything here for RGOs? Still, no. That kind of sucks, but whatever. Economic decisions. We could take out a lot of loans. Half a trillion in loans. Or, I guess, 25 trillion. 25 billion. Ha 500... Yeah, half a trillion. It is, it is half a trillion. Look at that spike. Ugh. With a big old spike like that, we're going to be crashing hard soon. 
So since we're so close anyways, I think it's okay for us to go ahead and pop it. Uh, Guatemala. Oh. Thank you, Carlos Castillo Armas. You are gotten and replaced with Juan Jose Arevo. Arevalo. Arevalo. I sorry, I do not speak Spanish. Oh, I love puppeting other nations. And which we got one big old nation left to do. Use competition to firm between firms to stimulate innovation? Probably a smart idea. 140 billion in terms of military expenditures. Where we're at doing just only 69 billion, so. And that's for everything. It's kinda nice. So it's almost July 1st. I want to show you, it's got to be a super event for the Iranian hostage crisis, right? Right? Am I right? I don't know. We might be right. We might be wrong. It's got to be the right. As soon as I fade and fade out, like, we will get it. I'm sure we're going to get it as soon as I fade and fade out. Um, you're done with elections, too. You're still... Oh, actually, you're Adolfo Corinias. Corinias? Corinias? Nice. Social Democracy. United States of Venezuela. Nice. You gotta keep that 500 PP just in case we want them big old Soviet boys. Uh, come on, give us something else. Something else here. Joseph Casa. What is Israel up to? This looks really nice, actually. I wish they had Lebanon. That makes it look even nicer, but still. Yeah. You're on. Come on, do something. Do something funky. Your GDP is really bad, though, but whatever. 1.34 trillion, 1.54 trillion, 1.19, sad, not even a trillion, not even half a trillion. Salazar, actually, compared to, like, Spain itself, you're much a smaller nation, but you're you're roughly the same level of GDP, which is kind of weird to think about, but... Fine with us. Economic decisions. No, 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 no. Investments, investments. We need 7 trillion still. My goodness. Just pumping so much money through there. All right, um, it should happen sometimes. I apologize, guys. Like, just gonna sit here, just waiting for something to happen. This is why I don't like playing mods like this too often, just because there's a lot of downtime, which I kind of don't like. And I could fade and fade out by that. It just, I don't know. Sometimes I like doing that. Sometimes I don't. And I don't know why we saw the Cambodian Civil War. I guess it's still running technically, but not really. I don't like that either, man. We have 21 billion or 2.1 billion. It should be 27 billion ish. 2 point, 21 billion. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad. Tunisia. Nice hat, Mohammed. Eighth Al Amin. Republic of Niger. Mali. Nice. Republic of Ghana. A People's Republic of Ghana. Dahomey. Biaf Biafra. Is that not supposed to be Nigeria? Bunch of reactionaries over there, so whatever. And, of course, like normal, we can go and grab another operative. Um, Ezra McLaws, yes. You seem quite competent. Are you still doing the firms? No. Establish high-tech hubs information. Not bad. You tell me Poland doesn't have content until 1979. What? What's wrong with you? So, as soon as I fade and fade out, we're going to have the Iranian hostage crisis. So, that's why I don't want to fade and fade out yet. Because uh, we saw these focuses here. Why? Um, Because we still have the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, technically. We have the Nicaraguan Revolution. We have the Iranian crisis. Continue Iranian repression. Assassinate him. Increase aid to Sabak. Pressure the Shah to liberalize, which... The Iranian hostage crisis. I think it was 400 days there when that happened. Begin negotiations. Attempt to rescue the oil embargo. This is the one we want to do. Issue an ultimatum. A deal with the devil. Rely on NATO. The Iranian war, which we'd love to do. Which I'm sure a lot of people would love to do in real life, but... Hey, 5.63, not bad. Well, if when, we, when this fires, we're definitely going to go down this way, so... I could get 4.22. So, you know what? As soon as this happens, I'm going to see you in just a little All bit. All right, everyone. So now it's 1980, uh, November 4th, in which you can choose Jimmy Carter or Ronald Reagan, which, to be more historical. All right, everyone. So I don't know if you could actually hear the music. I forget exactly what it was. But freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on them to, for them to do the same. Hail to the chief. Ronald Reagan's been elected. 
and Jimmy Carter's out, so I'm gonna call it here. Um, yeah, this is the end of the focus tree. Uh, I'm, I don't know. Overall, ca over the campaign, wasn't bad. I mean, right now we have 6.6 .6 points. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got such a high growth rate that we're literally off the charts, which is awesome. I think that's great. Uh, and we have quite a bit of money, which is pretty awesome as well, with 6.68 trillion. And we did beat up the Soviet Union, but let's go ahead and do this as well. They're doing pro healthy living propaganda. Um, economic expert. Oh, we can't make a dependency. What? We have to have double the GDP? Ah, I mean, if we kept playing, we have 6.73 trillion now. They have 5 trillion. We would be able to eventually. So, ah, darn it. That sucks. That really sucks. I wanted to exploit them. I really, or at least make them a puppet. I think that'd be so cool. So technically, you probably can, but obviously we can't do it for this campaign. But overall, like, the last few years, I get, I get it. This mod's still in development. I wish there was a little bit more to do, a little more things that we could, like, interact with, but... I guess that's going to be the campaign. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think of the campaign? You know, um, you know, like, what would you like to see different? What would you like to see expanded upon in this type of campaign? Or just a mod in general? Because there's a lot of downtime. Sometimes it's really intense, but sometimes there's just so much downtime that it's just like, wow, why are we still doing this? So, regardless, if you enjoyed the campaign, regardless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. When did we get NATO as an actual faction now? Hold on, wait, before we do that, look at that. We actually have NATO as an actual faction, which is look, looking pretty cool. Even though Italy is not in NATO either, but hey, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, and have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.